Yeah, we watered them overnight. We sure did. We watered those little doodads overnight. So this is a begonia and that is a gardenia. That belongs to that one. So does that. Like she thinks every ball is hers. Don't you big puppy. <laughs> okay, so this side of the patio is looking pretty spiffy. Um, I put that together last night wrong the first time and then I put it together right the second time. Those clouds look ominous over my neighbor's house, but they are leaving us. We had some storms last night, high winds. No branches down, no tornadoes. So that is a gift from the heavens when we don't get really, really bad weather because living in Arkansas in Dixie Alley, which is right next to Tornado Alley, you can be assured that your weather is going to try to kill you at least two times a year. So that's, you know, it's part of the fun. Here's what's going on at the tomato patch, y'all. I'm like super vibed and energized this morning. I woke up with the Smiths. And if you guys don't know who the Smiths are, um, it is Granger Smith and his wife, Amber, and their kids, London and Lincoln. Um, fantastic. I've been watching them for years. Not Well, the Smith channel, I think, is like a year old, but I've been watching Granger for a long time. Um, he's just one state over, and it's a... It's always a small community, us tubers. So, yee yee, Earl. It's Earl Dibbles. And I think he's got a, he's got like a bass fishing personality too. Bobby Wayne, maybe. So, um, this is what happened to the rest of my spinach. Um, it was never meant to be. And it's the only container. I must not have something drilled right in the bottom of it because everything else drains off. I've added tons of pea pebble. Uh, yeah, so this is your little gardening minute with Jen Cravasi from Jekyll Bates. This, this is not going to be our full epi, but it's, uh, it's lupine. It's lavender. Lavender's doing really well. This is what I have not eaten from the lettuce. I've got two more red romaine and one more butter crunch coming up this will actually start to wrap itself around it's going to look like iceberg when it's done the mint will always do well this is flat italian parsley that i have let grow wild because i want the seeds off of it can i get that close is it going to let me there we go i want the seeds off of it this year and then over there so okay so you can see this is this yard, <laughs> I've had problems with this yard for a long time, but there's, um, that is a French drain and it was drain, it was routed out. It goes all the way out, all the way out to the street. Um, but it's still, I mean, there's just, it's, we have to like get it routed every couple of years. It's just a mess. So what I found out is that these tubers, which lilies are, also help to kind of bind that soil together. So I planted callas and a hybrid. This is called a tiny bee. It's bright yellow. And so these are hopefully gonna grow and expand. This is a hot Texas sauce. Hot Texas sauce, y'all, calla lily. And it's the same one. one. One seems to be a little bit redder than the other. This one's got that yellow on the inside. They're beautiful. They're so pretty. And they are very invasive, but I want them to be invasive right here because the soil just falls apart and we end up getting drainage problems. So, but anyways, that's my tiny segment going into today's vidya of how the garden's doing and Molly. So, okay, so this is one more thing and then we'll go inside and talk about fishing, fishing. I do not want to put, I don't have the yard that I used to have. We used to have like a really big long yard in, uh, in Maryland. This is not that, um, but it's a good yard. But I don't want to put a storage shed because I just don't have enough stuff to put. And I don't want to just, exactly Casey, I don't want to just have a shed to pile up with crap. So 
small enough yard I can get away with a little mower and the steel weed eater is under there somewhere um, I want to do a wall here here I want to have a door that faces out that way so I can just pull the mower out and it shouldn't be that hard to do because this just annoys the crap out of me because it's just piled in the corner I keep the door open this is the second bedroom my bedroom's in the front there's a bedroom here um, but it's just it's just a little bit of stuff so if I put like if I did two by fours or two by sixes and then just maybe a four by four I could probably get away with a four by four because it looks like all of these are four by four um yeah I think I could do that yeah, so, okay, so real quick, so three hot peppers that may or may not make it, because apparently I suck at peppers. Red romaine, butter crunch, lavender lupine, mint, it's like a weed, you can't control it, so I just grow it, because it smells good. Flat leaf parsley, um, somewhere in there there's cilantro. This could be it, because it's the same family, one tastes different than the other. Curly parsley, sage, there's a bunch of stuff. There's some basil, there's um, chives coming in. You can see that poking out. There's lavender in there. There's um, catnip in there. Uh, kale, the kale looks awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, these are snapdragons that are coming up. That is a box leaf. Something's gotten to that. That's box leaf basil, and it's wonderful, and it's great as an Italian herb, like if you're making spaghetti or pasta or any kind of lasagna, it's really good in. Um, yeah, I know, I'm way too much coffee. So many varieties, I can't even tell you. I don't even know if I'm gonna get hybrids out of them this year because I've got so many different varieties in here, but these are like the cherry tomatoes are on this side. Then I've got some bigger ones. I added cages because I'm gonna need them. Philodendron, everybody knows what those are. Fuchsia, hummingbirds love them. Columbine, this is a columbine. And it makes me think of my friend Nina back in Maryland. Dianthus that are just getting ready to explode. Another fuchsia. Fuchsia. It's fuchsia. Shh, Jen. Fuchsia. That is a uh, sweet broom. And back there, I've got crookneck squash. And from this side, you can see cucumbers. So just regular old cukes. And then further down in here, I've got some rosemary that's starting to come up. I did all this from seed. This is a from seed last year. So from seed last year, wintered over. Arkansas doesn't have like really crazy, crazy bad winters. It smells so good out here, you guys. Gacy. Rascal. Gerber Daisy Bugleweed. How pretty is that? Corkscrew Rush. I think I just have, yeah, I've got two Bugleweeds. Corkscrew Rush and the Gerber. So that's it. It's, um, it's coming along out here. Watch them. I'm gonna find them. I know you're there, bunny.